Hello YouTube, Captain Darren here. My call sign is N4VFR. Today I'll be updating my Yaesu FT991 Alpha to the latest firmware. And that firmware is the uh, with the DSP version 1.12 dated on June 24th, 2021. Stay tuned. All right, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to look at my current firmware that is installed. And what I need to do is, you first you need to push the A equal B button and the A slash B button together while you're powering on the unit. And it shows you right there that my latest firmware is version 2.01 my DSP and oh I missed it it was so fast oh let me try this again it, it was so fast I couldn't even read it in time so I'm gonna power off the unit I push the A equals B and A slash B at the same time all right the main version is 02-01 dsp is v01-11 and the tft is v02-0 dang missed it again the first thing we need to do is we need to put the yaesu 991a in the program mode so what i need to do i need to first turn off the power of the unit and then I have to come over to my power supply, turn that off. While that's off, I have to come back to my unit. Okay, I need to hold down the transmit. It's called TXW and the split. The other button here is called split. I need to push both of those buttons at the same time while powering the power supply to the unit not the power supply that's on the EASU 991 I need to turn on the power on the power supply that will enable the unit to go into program mode so TXW and split at the same time turn on the power supply and that puts the 991A in the program mode. And if you try to turn on the power, it's not going to come on. You see? It doesn't come on. Now, while you're at the Yezu website, you're at the 991A, you go into the file section, the files, and then down at the very bottom that's where you find the amateur radio software what I downloaded was the latest version the FT991 all current firmware including the new update DSP version 1-12 dated 6-24-2020 the cable that you would need is uh, typically a uh, printer cable a USB that you typically find on a uh, printer cable and also the other USB so that's connected to my um, Windows laptop after you downloaded your firmware uh, Find the location where you extract your file and then you're going to look for a file. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to do the main version 3.01 and you're going to utilize the YFSW021. It's a program you need to open. Okay, now the program is open. All right, uh, there's the file name. You need to make sure that you're configured to a COM port, a virtual COM port. In this case, I'm using COM3. And the file name and the date of the firmware. 
when you have that program and the firmware file up to date it's going to actually populate in this window right here right here so now I'm going to connect oh I not connect I'm going to write to my radio now it's now writing so then I have to wait until it completes its uh, performance down here on the right you can see the progress of the upload of the firmware to the uh, Yaesu 991A so let's just wait for that this is my first attempt to actually update my firmware uh, I hope it all goes well and it doesn't lock up the firmware version that I have on the main was version 2.01 so I am now updating it to um, uh, firmware version right here it says right here you can't read it I know but it says version 3.01 75% complete this radio that I bought I actually bought it used um, from one of the ham radio stores and I got a good price on it and last month or a couple of months ago I had a problem with my transmit so I had to service it in uh, California and it took a, a while to get it back almost two months that's why I bought a different radio I, I bought an ICOM 7300 as a backup radio alright so now what I got here I got a OK question mark and I'm going to click on that OK uh, close close it out and let's take a look at the firmware so I'm gonna go back to the Yaesu radio and uh, double check the, if the firmware updated alright now I'm looking at the face of the 991A um, I'm gonna turn off the main power supply I'm just gonna wait a few seconds turn it back on I'll hold down the A equal B and the A slash B together and power on the unit. There it shows main version 3-01. That's great. I updated my main uh, firmware. Next thing I will do is the uh, DSP. Uh, the version I have now is a 1-01 and a TFT version 2-0 so I'll record that and uh, show you that process as well okay let's do this again let's power off the 991A power off the power supply source I just wait a few seconds okay I will hold the TXW and the split buttons at the same time power on the power supply then release I will attempt to write the um, firmware for the DSP uh, they said this firmware is a DSP is version 1-11 which I already have so I don't really need to update that um, so I'm going to skip on that one let me back out of here uh, the next one is a TFT. There's the TFT uh, version uh, it says 3-00. All right, the one I have before it was called the uh, TFT version 2.0. So I'll give that a try. Um, I'll click on the program here to call TF TFW. Double click on that. It says an app on your PC needs to. Uh, needs the following Windows feature so I'm gonna go ahead and download that apparently my Windows laptop didn't have the required uh, program needed so I'll let that download installing yay I don't have a fancy laptop it's just a Dell Inspiron 14 5000 it's not the fastest I don't like Windows so much I, I use mostly Mac so it gets a little 
take some time to get used to uh, working with Windows again. The problems that I see with the the new laptops nowadays, it only comes with two USB ports. Um, and if you're using one of the USB ports for your mouse, uh, like I got a mouse here, and it's hard, I can't see it. Uh, I got a mouse there, a Logitech, and it's taking up one of the USB ports. It's plugged in right there. And the other USB port there, that's going to be the cable that's going to be uh, connected to the radio itself to control the radio. All right. I did the successful install of the net framework. All right, I want to close that out. Uh, let's try to reinstall the TFT. All right, select a file, file select. This is the TFT version 3.00. And the one I have now currently installed is 2.0. So this is the right bin. Click on open and then update. I'm looking at COM3. Okay, waiting for update response. Hmm, cancel that. Let me end that, it didn't work. All right, try the TFT again, or TFW. COM3 is what I'm using. Select the file. That's the TFT file. Click open. Update. Hmm. It shouldn't take that long. There's a there's a timer right here. It says it's been 18 seconds. Cancel. End. Okay. I think I found out why it didn't work on the uh, update. Of the TFT firmware. Yesu manual says push the FM list, push the band and mode at the same time while powering on the unit. So push the F list, the mode and band at the same time, power on the unit. All right, so it stays at Yesu. All right, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna to attempt to start the TFT software. COM3, select the file. It's that bin file, click open and then update. There's Yesu, it's updating. You see it there? And also it's updating on my laptop screen. You can see the progress. I'm dimming my monitor screen so you can see the Yesu actually updating here. And also the progress screen on the monitor here. And uh, once it's completed, it says to just basically click on the OK button and that completes the uh, TFT up, up to, uh, firmware upgrade. I know there's a lot of people out there that's uh, really kind of hesitant in upgrading their firmware, but yeah, if it, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Well, I'm, the one, I'm one of those guys that like to have the latest and the updated firmware on all my radios. So this is my first attempt. You're witnessing it live, my mistakes, and uh, how I worked around it. Once this is all completed, I'm going to do a uh, system reset. And I want to also verify that the firmware is up to date. That it actually took the firmware update. It's taking a lot longer. Oh, 
Here we go. It says complete on the display and on the computer. Let me brighten it up a little bit. It says TFT firmware update complete. Click OK. It's done. And then I'm going to click end. All right, now that it's a completed, turn off the unit. And then what I'm going to do is power on the unit itself. There's my call sign. Okay, it works there. VOFO is working there. And what I want to do is uh, power off the unit again. And I want to take a look at the firmware. Make sure that it updated properly. Again, A equal B and the A slash B together, power on. TFT firmware. It has updated now, it's version 3.0. My main is 3.0. My DSP is 1.1. And that doesn't need to be updated, the DSP, because um, it's still the same. Nothing has changed. Now, to do a reset, let me power off the unit. I'm going to hold FM list and power on. That's a system reset. As you notice, we're back to the default setting. You don't see my waterfall anymore. Now I need to set the whole thing back up just the way I want it. That's gonna be a pain because I forget all the settings. There you go. I finished updating my firmware on my Yaesu FT991 Alpha HF VHF UHF transceiver and uh, now it's the hard part since I did the system reset I'm going to have to go through all those configurations and reconfigure my 991 just the way I had it um, having the little waterfall display and everything like that uh, adjusting all my audio settings I had a lot of good reports when uh, I was communicating utilizing the, uh, the, um, the equalizing uh, built-in equalizer on the uh, radio itself. So if you like my video, hey, please consider to subscribe, give me a like button. It surely helps me uh, um, with the, all the algorithm. It helps uh, motivate me to make more videos. Even though I'm an airline pilot, I'm always busy flying. I, I try to, uh, to make videos to um, to the ham radio community. My name is Captain Darren. My call sign is N4VFR. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.